but not like the guy from CNN. What's his face? Oh. Yeah, he tried Reza, brain or yeah. something. Reza Aslan. Yeah. Oh. He'll never live that down. I think it really messed him up. I, I do. Because he's become a really awful person. Really? And I think it's not that he ate human meat, human brain. Okay. I think it's that he, he's, be, he's been shunned so, so much. Like, because of it. Yeah. And so he's got friends who are in high places. So he still gets to exist in society as like a wealthy individual. And he's, he's super rich. Mm. But he gets torn up all the time as the guy who ate brain. And so you see his reaction to things like with the Covington kids. He's like, I want to punch that. You know, he's like, have you ever seen a more punchable face and post a picture of a 14 year old kid? It's like, dude, chill out. <laughs> but I think he's be, it's like, Anger I, issues. I think it's, it's, it's like, it's almost like he was canceled. Hmm. Like when that segment came out where he ate brain, everyone was like, you are a disgusting piece of human filth. Yep. And he'll never, never escape. He is trapped in this world. And it was funny, I was talking to somebody who knows he him. He ate human brain. What do you expect, man? Yeah, so check, check it out. I was talking to somebody who knows him. Okay. And they brought him up and I was like, wait, isn't he, isn't he a cannibal? And they were like, he is not a cannibal. And I was like, he, he's, he ate human meat. Yeah, he ate a little bit of brain for a show. And I'm like, that makes him a cannibal. Yeah. Yep. They argued, no, cannibals like are people who eat human meat. It's like a thing they do. And I was like, so you're saying to me if like an old dude did a kid just one time, you're not going to call him out as a pedo. Yeah. And they're like, well, I'm like, yeah, Reza Azan ate brain. He's a cannibal. Yeah. Yep. We're done here. Yeah. There's Conversation no, over. There's no, he's almost a cannibal. No, he literally did it. Yeah, exactly. But I, I think that really messed him up. Yeah. Because it even looked like what we're saying about it. Yeah. He can't escape it. Could you imagine being trapped in that world? You have to change your name, change your appearance, mm -hmm. give up everything. You're always going to be the dude who ate human on TV. This is a public service announcement brought yeah, to you dude. by me. Don't eat human meat. Oh, great advice. You know what's really, you know what's really crazy about it hmm. is that I think this was like a CNN show. And what they claim is that he was scared for his life and kind of like forced to do it because the, the tribalists who made, who made him like who are, who are cooking the, the brain uh -huh. were like dangerous. Okay. You know what I think the real reason why they did it was? Why? They wanted to be Vice. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Dude, Vice had a segment where Ryan Duffy goes down to, I think, I can't remember, like Columbia or something, and he's trying out bulletproof clothing, and they literally shoot him. Dang. And the bullet just flops down, and he's like, wow. It was a really big, thick, like, trench coat. I barely remember the episode, but they also did the scopolamine thing. You know what scopolamine is? Mm -mm. It's this It's this drug where they, like, blow it in your face. And then it turns you into like a mindless drone. Yeah, that does whatever. Okay, yep. I know of this. Right. So Vice does all these like dark, edgy documentaries that were extremely popular on YouTube right. when they did that series. And then they get HBO and they get all these Emmys. And then everyone and their mother wanted to be Vice. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I know. It's I, why I got hired at I Fusion. I lived through it. Yeah, I watched it. So so Fusion tries poaching me and they're like, you know, we want, it, we want to do what they do and all this stuff. We want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, 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 sure, sure. I got you, man. Now they quickly changed their tune, but I actually got called down to a meeting with a bunch of people and they said, how do we do what Vice does? And uh, I had some choice words for <laughs> these, these corporations, but this was around the same time CNN was trying to do these verite like travel doc stuff. Dude eats brain and it was really obvious. I mean, for me as somebody who worked for Vice, mm -hmm. I was like, it's kind of like if you're, you know, I don't know how many people can relate to this, but you're like in, in school and there's that one dorky kid who's kind of like, you know, a loser who's desperately trying to fit in. Yeah. And so like you're, you're, you're sitting with your friends and all of a sudden he walks up and says something really awkward and you're, you're sitting there like, all right, dude, that, yeah, sure. Uh, anyway, and then you like turn back to your friends. Yeah. That's what it was. Could you imagine like destroying your life for, because you were trying to chase after what you thought was cool? For that matter, could you imagine eating human brain? Nope. Nope. Yeah. Neither of those things. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. I, I have no interest. <laughs> no. A lot of the media that we get today is like that, though. Like, uh, Wanna you're, be. Uh, well, are you familiar with? Well, it's not just that. It's like chasing after what they think will be the hot thing. Right. And so this, Reza, Reza ends up becoming, I guess, just like fodder for the machine. Because, you, you know, CNN doesn't care. Yeah. There's like cancel his show. That was gross. Yeah, his that, that didn't work. Well, we'll just fire him and move on. But if you look at other other companies, like Mike.com is a really good example. Okay, I don't know. Mike.com started out as kind of a libertarian, like seriously, like pro Ron Paulish. Okay. And then became super social justice. Hmm. It's just because they're chasing after what they think the next hot thing is. And they will sacrifice and burn down anybody. So so actually, interestingly enough, like Joe Rogan was talking about this uh, on, on a recent podcast with... Um, 
Well, I can't remember the guy's name. But he was saying that, you know, CNN's doing the things they're doing, Orange Man Bad and all this stuff, because they're desperately trying to survive. Yeah. You look back to what they did with the brain eating, and it's like, yeah, they've been desperately trying to figure out what they think people would be into. They're not cool. They're 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 doing weird, weird stuff. Yeah, they're trying. But it's not just about them. It's like the whole landscape is kind of derivative of what we've seen from that moment. Vice had early success, but Vice's success was not, in my opinion, based upon actual popular ideas like it, it wasn't based upon how do i say success hmm. it was it was built upon the perception of success people were absolutely convinced that vice was cool so everyone wanted to be vice and now vice is like you know disney's written off their entire investment saying it's worthless 500 million dollars in the toilet really yeah yeah so like disney invested like 500 million it was like 400 and another company invested like 70 and then they merged and then they wrote like last year we now see that investment as nothing, completely written off. We're mm-hmm. never getting back because it was an illusion. Yep. Which is so, so it's funny because you have companies like Mike. They started, I don't know exactly how they started or what the deal was, but they started something like early 2010s. And Ron Paul was really big. You know, the Ron Paul Love Revolution of 2008. You know, have you ever seen the Ron Paul and like the, the revolution? But then it says love backwards. Yeah. Okay. It was huge on the internet. And so right now you've got, you know, Ron Paul recently said something like Dr. Fauci needs to be fired. He's trying to take control of everything and stuff like this. Reddit is tearing him apart. Fauci like, or no, Ron? No, Ron Paul. Mm. And someone commented, this is funny. Remember when we all loved Ron Paul? And I'm curious, like, why did that change? Yeah. Ron Paul didn't change. He's still saying the same old, same old. Been a little yeah. crazy. Well, they comment like we grew up. Okay. You grew up. Mike.com, my understanding, and I could be wrong about this started out with some very libertarian stories and then over time just trying to figure out what would get the most traffic turned into a social justice rage bait outlet they the dudes who are running it were like apparently libertarian bros as far as i you know i was told by many other people yeah so this is what's actually driving politics in this country yeah i know yeah you've get you you get uh it's all fake i guess you know, so I, I, I'm I curious. What's real nowadays? Yeah, nothing. Like this story we're, we're about to get into, and, and we'll jump back to Super Chats real quick, um, about the guy who's saying, like, let it all burn. I don't believe any of it. I don't believe that it's real. You know, and, and that's yeah, why I was... let's get to this. Well, well let me... It. I got a, one more point. I mentioned this in a couple of my videos. I mentioned it yesterday, and I say it, and I have no problem saying it. They pretend to be angry, so we pretend to be angry back. Right. Like, how... I, I don't know. You know, sometimes I read this stuff and I'm like, it really does bug me when the media lies about this. And then people make YouTube videos where they're like, Tim Pool's wrong. And I'm like, do you really care that I I care about what the people in these news companies are doing and saying? Or yeah. is it just performative art to fit your audience? Yep. That's what yeah. I, I, that's instantly what I go in my head. Yep. That's what it is. Like eating brain. Catering to the masses, essentially. Yeah. Like eating brain, I guess <laughs> they thought they were going to get this big hit. That's what, you know, I've been in those meetings, man, where people are like, dude, I have this idea. We're going to do this crazy thing and it'll work. And there, and I've, I have successfully navigated away from all of the crazy people who have done the stupid things like brain eating or like I've been in the meetings where they've pitched stuff that's just factually wrong, but they don't care. Mm-hmm. And I've just refused. I'm not going to go down that road because they're not thinking about the long-term results of what this is going to do to them. Yeah. Like one example is like I was at Fusion and there was this fake outrage over Ghost in the Shell. Do you know, do you know what Ghost in the Shell is? Yeah. So they were, they were like, ooh, this is really crazy. Like it's an anime, you know, and they're doing a live action, but they, they cast a white woman to play uh, Major Kusanagi. I think the name is Motoko. And they're like, whoa, wow, man, total whitewashing. And then I was like, actually, I'm kind of a fan of Ghost in the Shell. And I don't think that actually makes sense. Like a, an aspect of Ghost in the Shell is that by cyberizing your brain and getting prosthetic bodies, you transcend race and gender and all these things. And like, it's actually one of the questions like asked in Standalone Complex of Major, why does she, why does she prefer female bodies? And I'm like, that's actually a, a, a better question about like, I, I guess maybe like gender identity. And they were like, uh, no, we, we think racism. <laughs> and I'm like, you guys don't know anything about this show. No. And so that's the flack they ended up getting when they write these fake articles is that they're not actually talking about things they, they know and are passionate about. 
they're trying to figure out how they like they're trying to pretend to be relevant. Yeah. And so I guess to kind of wrap wrap up that idea, you end up with a dude going to India and eating brain and then it makes him go insane. And then he goes on Twitter and all he is is just foaming at the mouth, screeching at everybody. He's full of hate and vile brain eating madness. To be yeah. fair, lots of them are like that. I don't think you could blame that on the brain eating. The, no, I do. Oh, okay. I, 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 no, I think it's the brain eating. Really? You think yeah. so? Yeah. That was, that was the catalyst. Wasn't he like some, know. he was like a scholar on religion or something. I think he ruined his reputation and realized what he'd done, came back and was like, well, I have to be a super social justice warrior now or no one will ever listen to me again. No, I think it's that, you know, when you go into Twitter and everyone hates you mm-hmm. and is pointing their finger at you and laughing at you, you become resentful and angry and you hate everyone. And so he just goes on Twitter and he just scowls. And like he, he had a show was about religion. That's how he ended up eating the brain. Oh, okay. It was supposed to be like a serious religious scholar. Now he's become this putrid, vile, hunched demon who just vomits on people on Twitter. Hmm. Like it, he yeah. went from being prestigious to just. <sighs> yes. That's what happens when you eat brain, man. I know. I guess so. So don't do that. Don't eat brain. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune into this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or check us out on iTunes and Spotify, and we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.